This is a GNS3 CCMP route lab. In this lab, you need to configure BGP between customer autonomous systems and the ISP. In this topology, we have three autonomous systems, AS65000, 65001, and 65002. Customer router one and two are in autonomous system 65000. The IGP to use here is OSPF. Autonomous system 65002 is using EIGRP as the IGP or interior gateway protocol. The ISP with autonomous system number 65001 is using OSPF as the IGP. You need to configure the ISP routers to use loopbacks for their BGP relationships within the autonomous system. So follow best practices where the IBGP relationships are formed between loopbacks, but the eBGP relationships are formed using directly connected interfaces. Configure ISP router 3 as a route reflector to reduce the number of BGP relationships in the ISP autonomous system. Customer router 1 and customer router 4 should not be configured with BGP. In other words, this router should only be configured with OSPF and not BGP, and this router should only be configured with EIGRP and not BGP. Advertise default routes from customer 2 to customer router 1 using the OSPF originate command, and on customer router 3, advertise a default route to customer router 4 using a summary route. Once you've got your BGP and IGPs configured, verify connectivity between customer routers. So make sure that customer router 1, as an example, can ping customer router 4. Then optimize BGP so that autonomous system number 65000 prefers ISP1 for outgoing traffic and has ISP4 as a backup route. In other words, when traffic is sent from customer router 1 to customer router 4, the path that is preferred is via ISP1. And only if ISP1 goes down is traffic sent via ISP router 4. In autonomous system number 65002, prefer ISP router 5 over ISP router 2. So egress traffic from this autonomous system should take this path as the preferred path and only use ISP router 2 if the link to ISP router 5 is down. In this lab, I'm using Cisco IOS V viral images. This is the IOS used by these routers in the topology. So if you have problems importing this topology, make sure that you've added a Cisco IOS V router with this image, as well as this startup disk image to your GNS3 installation. So under routers, available appliances, make sure that you've got iOS V installed. So under installed appliances, you should have an iOS V router. If you don't, under available appliances, add an iOS V router to your GNS3 topology. So can you configure BGP and the IGPs to ensure that this lab works properly? Download the GNS3 portable project and go to file, import portable project to import it into GNS3. See if you can complete the lab yourself. Otherwise, watch the next video where I show you how to complete this lab.